Hi you guys, my name is Marie. I like to make things and I like to turn on and show you how I made those things. Welcome to my channel. Yes, okay, don't, I don't need to hear it. It's been a minute, I am aware, but what I am here for today is I need to tell you guys about a business that is close to my heart, okay? Craspire.com. Now, let me show you what they sell. So even when you look it up, even though it says leather seal wax stamp for your story, that's what they sell mostly, but they do sell resin molds, you guys. Look at this. Almost about 24 to 25 maybe even more than that, pages of molds for resin. And I say not just resin, but also UV resin because of the fact that a lot of their molds are clear, okay? So you guys, you can either get 8% off your first order there and put your email address in, or you can use my coupon code Marie10. I'm gonna leave it on the screen just so it's there. Okay, so of course they sell wax seals, paper crafts, silicone molds, storage and packing, and they have a sale going on right now. As you can see from the top, they have ribbons. We have they have so much stuff here, but look at all these molds here. So many different one. Ooh, what's this? What was that? Is that a dollar sign for 99 cents? Bruh. But back to the wax seal um, stuff that they have on there. If you guys are interested in wax melting and putting a seal onto your envelopes, they do a lot of that stuff here too. And um, I'm trying not to get another whole craft under my belt but this looks pretty cool. Again, like I said before, use the coupon code MARIE10, all in caps, okay? All in caps. And you can get 10% off your entire order, okay? Thank you so much, Craspire, for sponsoring this video today. Now, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna look at what these beautiful people sent me, okay? And then we're gonna try out some molds so that you guys see how easy it is to work with these molds and how beautiful their molds are. These have to be the best molds that I've seen in a long time because a lot of the molds that I've gotten over the past, they were like very, very thick. The UV lamp can't penetrate it because it's just so thick. Their molds are thin enough that the UV rays can penetrate the sides of the silicone, okay? So that it could cure it on both sides and I don't have to keep curing it over and over and over again. So I love their molds for this reason. Without further ado, let me show you these molds that they sent me, okay? We're gonna go through these one by one so that we know exactly what we're working with. So first we have this crystals set. This is the product code, just in case you're like, oh, I need this in particular. This is the product code. Now this is all the stuff that comes in it. So you got the pipettes. I don't know if you know what a pipette is. That's the pipette. Okay, so we have pipettes. They give us a little bit of um, finger cots, but we should always have these on hand. Anyway, if you're working with resin, you should always have this. Um, it also came with two, two cute little measuring cups. Um, it does, it does have a, some measurements on it, milliliter measurements on it here. Um, so those are really nice. If you want something that's more sturdy, these are the one for you. And so let's look at these molds here. Okay. All right. Look at these molds. So as you can see, these deep crevices, this is how thick it is, it's very tough, love it. Then we have one that's gonna be a little bit taller. That's what it looks like. And then we have these really small ones and it also has a little bit of faceted situation inside 
of some of them and I just absolutely love it so you can see the faceted goodness that is in there I love it so these are the crystal molds that comes with that set and it's a really good price too next what we have is a, the George craft three-piece succulent mold here you can't really see what these molds would be but you can see how I demonstrate how tough they are and then up here you can see what the finished product would look like I can't wait to do these they're gonna be so cute next what we have is the afro girl mold this is what it looks like outside the package um beautiful I love it I most love it maybe I can use it on my desk like make something really magical and like swirly kind of like this one and then just use it on my desk as like kind of like how I have my little um, decorations on my desk as I do my videos I don't know but I'm definitely gonna use this okay so not only in that package do you get the mold you also get a silicone cup and some pipettes you get wooden stick stirs and a little little bit of um finger cots that you can use okay and I love how um Craftspire does this I think with the majority of their sets it comes with these things so that you can just buy this and you have the supplies like just little extra supplies that come with it just in case you ran out it seems that they want to make sure that you know you have safety measures in play you got you got your pipettes in there you got your finger cuts and you know stuff like that and I like that so this is the afro girl mold this is the product number you can put it in the search and you can actually get this exact product here next we have these a gamepad silicone molds and again we have the pipettes finger cuts containers and even with just with this one order it came with like a good six of these things which are so helpful because sometimes I leave the the resin inside this and sometimes I don't clean them out immediately so I have another backup so that works out very well this is what it looks like outside this is these are awesome I love the attention to detail that they give us here. So these are going to turn out really nice. So that's the product code. Put it in there and you can actually get it directly on the website. These are a little bit of a picture of what the finished product would look like coming out of the mold or different ideas that you can do for it. Then we have this boba shaker mold. I, I'm not as it doesn't say on the website that it's a shaker mold but I think it is because you got this recessed area that you fill it first and then once you get the piece out then it would look like this and it will have a recessed area in it then you can create a shaker keychain that's how I'm gonna use this this little mold only cost a dollar fifty so if it's a shaker we're gonna find out this is the product code put that in get it for a dollar fifty you can't go wrong with that this is not the name that's on the website but this is what I call it I call it the ultimate cabbage on mold set okay the reason why I say that this has all of everything that was in the other sets okay I'm gonna set the molds themselves aside okay but it comes with the hard the hard measuring cups there's two of them then you have some finger cots in there then you have some pipettes in there it also came with a like foil set so this is what that looks like all the different colors so this came with it now let's look at the molds okay these are all the molds that came in that set I'm gonna show you close up we have some squares these are basic squares okay 
Um, they don't have any facets to them. They are, you know, 3D looking. So we have the basic squares. There is no facets to it or anything, okay? Basic triangles. There's some that are deep and there's some that are, you see how that is? You got a 3D look to it. And then you have some that are flat back triangles. Same thing for the little ones. They have the 3D look in and then they have the flat back ones, okay? So that's nice. So we have the squares, we have circles. So you can probably do two sides to a circle, like depending on which size you use. If you wanna do a sphere, you can go and do one side here, cure it, take it out, do another side in that same size, and cure it, and then you can resin the two sides to get don't get me started. I already have my mind on what I'm going to use these for. And so you see the spherical detail on it. Beautiful. Okay. So those are the circles. There's some ovals. Even got some really teeny ones here. Right? Oh yeah. These are really teeny ones right here. So you can see them right there. So all these sizes, amazing. Here's the squares, okay? They're not cubes, but you can make them into cubes, maybe. They are flat back, okay? So you got the squares there. Now, here are some really tiny ones, but these are actually faceted ones, okay? If you look at the back, there's a facet to it. All right? Beautiful. Now this is my favorite, okay? Look at these details. <laughs> so when I go and do my shakers, there is, there's always these little tiny little gems that you put in it. This is what I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna use as the things that go inside my shaker, okay? So I'm gonna be using this today. So we have this one and I love it the details on it look at the star the star is a prime example if you look at the star let's look close at this star here so it looks like a little star here but it's actually a deeper recessed area because if you turn it over see how deep it goes you see how see how big this star looks here but it looks really small here so yeah so it spreads out inside of the mold i love it these little diamonds oh my goodness the heart oh my goodness i cannot wait to do this one so you remember when i said i didn't know if this was a shaker mold what i want to do today is i'm going to find out if it's a shaker mold or not and then i'm going to create some little teeny weeny things to put inside of our shaker mold let me show you the supplies i have of course i have my uv resin by j diction but you get a coupon code for this too, okay? Now, <laughs> you're probably like, wait, what? <laughs> um, yes, baby oil is what you put inside as the water. So I'm gonna be using those things. I had some like leftover little clay pieces that I might like cut or something like I have some like leaves here that I can use okay look at these cute little flowers they have like really nice details to them that I adore um so yeah you know what I can do is I can just go and look at it and be like what can work in there so you know I want to have a couple big pieces and then I want to do like a moon or you know just these little teeny weeny gems that I can put in there also just to have like another contrasting color this may sound highly ambitious but you know you know how I be very ambitious okay so I'm gonna be doing a keychain with this so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna change my background and get all the supplies and all the safety gear that I need to start this. To start off, I have my little, little tiny gems mold. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this one to make like little tiny trinkets that we're gonna be putting inside 
of the shaker part, okay? So I like this little heart one here. So these are the UV resins that I particularly made. I covered it, this part was glass, so I covered it so that the UV can't be um, cured by mistake. So I mixed mica powders in with my clear UV resin, and so I just made a couple of them with different colors. And so I think I'm going to do this little green, this little heart, okay? So let's drop some into this heart. All right, let's do this little moon. All right, so I'm gonna do another heart, but like with a very bold color. All right, I'll do another little heart. All right, so I'm gonna put some finger cuts on just to put it on. All right, so let's cure these really quick. So we have our little pieces here. So I'm gonna pop some out. I like to pop them out of the mold and then like cure them again. So I just like double, triple cure them. I cure them this way, I cure it this way, and then I pop it out and I cure it again. <laughs> I lost one. Cute little trinkets. So I'm gonna do a couple more. Okay, so I got a couple more that um, I UV resin real quick. Now, I noticed a difference, which, you know, if you want a stronger color, these right here I made with alcohol ink, and then these right here I did with mica powder. So if you want subtle color, this mica powder part is really good. If you want it to be strong, use the alcohol ink. So these are the little trinkets all together that I'm going to put inside of my little shaker thing here. I did this little thing where I asked my husband, I said, okay, if you were gonna make a keychain, where would you put the resin in? He said, right here. Now, we put it in on the underside. You think, what? That doesn't make any sense. But if you look at it from the side here, you could tell that right here, there's gonna be a nice little area. You're gonna fill all this up with whatever magical colors you want on the outside of your keychain. I'm going to fill up this with UV resin and some sparkles and some things that make it look cute and stuff and then I am going to cure it real quick. It will help if I take the cap off, the UV resin, but you know, only you guys know. I didn't fill it up all the way um, because I just wanna make sure it's not too thick for me to cure it all the way through. So I'm gonna cure this for 60 seconds on both sides and then I'm gonna add more on top of it. I only have it filled not all the way to the top, therefore this back right here isn't gonna be thick enough so we wanna make sure it's filled all the way to the top. Let's get this out of the mold. Hopefully it is cured on the other side. Sometimes it's kind of hard, but this is what it looks like. There's a little bit of a recessed area. You probably could see it, you probably can't. 
I don't have as much bubbles in it as I thought I did, so that's awesome. Nee, 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 nee. All right, so I'm gonna cure it just a little bit more because I'm really nervous about that stuff. So I'm gonna cure it a little bit more. So let me give you a little bit of anatomy lesson on a shaker keychain and how to make it. So when I poured it into the mold, there was a little recessed area, and I don't know if you can see it, right there this is very important okay um and it goes all the way to the inside of this recessed area here okay so now that we have that understood i'm going to start putting in a, my little magical keychain stuff okay that's not going to work i don't like it so i'm going to put things in there because it's really we don't have that much room here okay so I'm gonna start dropping some stuff in there. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So I, what I like to do, I'm looking at it from the side so I can see, make sure none of it is going above the lip and none of it is, okay? So we have that going for us, okay? Now, Oh wait, I forgot a piece. Why didn't you guys tell me? <laughs> I couldn't really see, it was very light. Okay, so let's put that piece in there. Is it in there? You're in there. You know, we got little heart-shaped pieces and little gem-looking pieces, my little moon leaves, and a flower, okay? I love it. Now, the next step is the inside what goes inside of the shaker would be, like I told you, the baby oil, okay? It doesn't matter what baby oil it is, as long as it smells good and smells like baby oil. <laughs> the smells are not the important part, I'm just joking. I cut out a little piece of plastic here, okay? I, this is the plastic, this is what's gonna go on our keychain to hold in those little magical pieces, the baby oil, and some glitter and stuff that I wanna put in there, okay? So my next step is I got my little piece of plastic here. I'm gonna set it off to the side so I don't lose it. All right, I have my little cap. This is the cap, the same cap that's on my baby oil here. I just wanna check it really quick because I haven't used this mold yet and it fits perfectly into that re recessed area, okay? All right, so I'm gonna pour a little bit of baby oil into this area just to get it started. And the reason why I wanna get it started is because I wanna drop in some more glitter, but I wanna do a different glitter than what's on the outside here. I'm gonna do this little opal looking is really light color. So I'm gonna drop some of this glitter in here. So I'm gonna drop a little bit in here. Yeah, yeah I dropped a lot in there. All right, so I have baby oil in here, glitter, my little shaker pieces that I want inside the keychain. And next what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna put a little bit of resin around the outside of this square here. Then I'm going to put my little square piece on and make sure that it actually fits and it's not hanging over the edge. Alrighty. So I wanna make sure that it's all flush around the edges here. All right, I like this. So now I'm going to cure this really quick so that I can connect the plastic to the keychain. All right, so this is it halfway done here. They're not moving as much because I don't have that much oil in it. So next, so we have this plastic, it's connected because I cured it with the resin, okay? So next what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get connected, okay. So now I'm going to squeeze a little bit. All right, I'm gonna squeeze. So 
some more oil in there. I like to fill it all the way up, but I don't have to. All right, cool. So now I am going to just clean up the extra little bit of baby oil. Okay, and now I'm going to put some resin on that hole that we made so that we can lock in the baby oil, okay? So I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do a bead along the edge here. Okay, and I'm gonna cure this closed to lock in the baby oil. And this is our finished product here. Got the baby oil just rolling around in there. Um, this is the front side, um, and then this is the back side of it. I think the next time when I do this that I'm going to do it so that you can see the outside of the container and then all this will be clear. So I think I'm going to do this like as a darker color or something like that. But other than that, this is like my, you know, first official shaker where I actually know what to do and know what not to do. So this is the finished product with all the little happy things in it. So that is the result of using my Craspire shaker mold. Yeah, I like their mold better because not a lot of the shaker molds actually have a little divot. I'm gonna show you in the inside of it where it is. So you can see it right about right here in the bottom of the mold, that is going to create a little spot where you can push in the needle for the baby oil. So that's pretty cool and not a lot of them have that. So I praise Craspire for actually having that in their molds. And there you go. So yeah guys, I was able to make this, this little shaker keychain, okay? I've done shaker keychains in the past, but it was so long ago that I kind of forgot all the steps. But yeah, isn't it cute? Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. I can hug it. Um, but I'm like scared because I have to figure out how I'm going to um put a little hole through it so I can put it on my keychain. I'm definitely gonna use this. I love it. Even makes a noise, it's cute. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much, Craspire, for sponsoring this video today. Oh, and also for supplying me with these awesome, awesome molds that I'm going to keep forever. And even though they sponsored this video here, there's going to be a couple videos coming in connection with those molds because, yeah, there's a couple of molds that I really wanted to try but I wanted to try this shaker one first to see if, if it in fact was a shaker because on the website it doesn't say that it's a shaker anyway I also want to thank my Martian cheerleaders right here you guys are the ones who helped me to keep going you're the ones who kept contacting me and saying hey are you okay what's going on what can we do we can't wait for you to come back all that stuff i thank you guys and i love you so much but yeah everything is great so you guys thank you so much for watching make sure to like subscribe and comment because that's what all the youtubers say we're not exactly sure if it really works but it can't hurt right <laughs> so anyway thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video okay bye make sure you guys subscribe